Hello, my name is Ben. I'm the Watermark Youth Director. Um, I'd like to share a passage with you today. Uh, this is again one of my favorites. Again, super, super relevant for this time right now that we're in. And I'm sure you've heard it before, but, but I love it. And I, I, I want to share it with you guys. Uh, this is Matthew chapter 6. Therefore, I tell you, do not be anxious about your life, what you will eat or what you will drink, nor about your body, what you will put on. Is not life more than food and the body more than clothing? Look at the birds of the air. They neither sow nor reap nor gather into barns, and yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not of more value than they? And which of you, by being anxious, can add a single hour to his span of life? And why are you anxious about clothing? Consider the lilies of the field, how they grow. They neither toil nor spin, yet I tell you, even Solomon in all his glory was not arrayed like one of these. But if God so clothes the grass of the field, which today is alive and tomorrow is thrown into the oven, will he not much more clothe you, O you of little faith? Therefore do not be anxious, saying, What shall we eat, or what shall we drink, or what shall we wear? For the Gentiles seek after all these things, and your heavenly Father knows that you need them all. But seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things will be added to you. Therefore do not be anxious about tomorrow, for tomorrow will be anxious for itself. Sufficient for the day is its own trouble. I think, I think the, the, true secret, the true secret of contentment and fulfillment and peace. And I think what this passage demonstrates and illustrates is that that is not clothing or food or shelter, but it's something else. It's the righteousness of God and it's God's kingdom, right? So, so during, during this time of panic and fear and worry, I would encourage you to take heart and that through Jesus' death and resurrection, he has given you his righteousness. You have the righteousness of God. You have the kingdom of God. Your kingdom come. Jesus brought the kingdom to you. You have it, right? And that is what you should take heart in. T take heart because all, all, the, all these other things, they're just bonuses, right? After, after the righteousness of God, after the kingdom of God, everything else is just a bonus. It's just an add-on. Like, cool, I get clothes, awesome. I get food, great. But take heart in the righteousness of God. And, and, and you, will not, you will not fear, right? Because there's no reason to fear when, all, when God has all the control and when we find true peace in the righteousness that we have in Jesus.